You want to do an insecure podcast on Monday? Okay. Aldo Nice presents. Welcome to the Men's Secure Podcast. He distracted me with his fine ass face, but I'm gonna tell him shut the fuck up. I don't want your conversation. It's like I almost wanted to call Issa after I watched the episode and say, "Hey, look, I got out of here." Yeah, I thought about it. I've been thinking about you, but you're married. What you gonna talk to? You? Gonna be like, "Oh, that's just your friend on the couch." You know what I'm saying? Laying down. I don't care nobody. Part of the Best Friend Weekend Podcast Network. Oh shit. I'm going. I'm going to just suck around the block one more time. Has Mom you said something to you? About what? She's been on my neck lately. You tell me if she was ugly, right? Girl, of course not. When I am struggling, my man gets it. I get that you have a lot of work, but I'm just trying to figure out where I fit in. It's my little angel right here. You wanna hold her? Uh, I just dropped a burrito earlier today. Then hell no. I say, whoa, welcome to the Men's Secure Podcast. It's your man, Aldo Nice. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C.A.P. I'm a little, um, I'm a little excitable today, man. I like Insecure this week, man. I like Yeah, it. I think it. I think it was dope. I think it was life relatable too this week. Well, th- the biggest thing for me was I thought, and I think it was very life relatable. But the biggest thing for me that I came away with was what did I say last week? What I was looking forward to was the further deterioration of the Issa and Molly relationship, and that's what mm-hmm. I got. That's yes. what I got. A whole yeah. episode of that, and that's what I was looking for. So, how you think mm-hmm. it related to life so well? I think with the dynamic with Molly going through and Issa, you know, sometimes life just gets throwing stuff at you back to back. You know, and maybe with them, especially with those two, uh, their friendship was kind of shaky. And with life, you know, life happening and work and, you know, Molly really, this new dynamic of Molly trying to balance her work and love life balance, you know, the balance of the work and love life, you know, so she's focusing on that and her and Issa in bad place, they're not in a great place right now. You know, those things happen in real life, especially with women. You know, I think with dudes, it's a little different. You know, we just argue and fight about it and then go on about our business. But I think with, with, with women, uh, they tend to kind of hold on and, and, you know, they talk on the phone way more than we do. Uh, so, you know, they need the other person to, when stuff is going on to bounce those things off of. Um, and I think that kind of, that's going to ride for both of them at this moment because they don't have that other best friend to do those things with. I think, you, I think you're hitting the nail on the head. And um, normally the way we do the structure of this show is we talk about favorite person of the week. Uh, overall thoughts, women off of Venus moment, Issa be tripping moment, and what are you looking forward to next week? And I mean, you yeah. just, before we even talking about our overall thoughts, you already ran into what I consider my women are from Venus moment of the week is what you just said. The note mm-hmm. I wrote down is many that talk that shit out, get over it, or stop fucking with each other. It's like, that, that, that's that's yeah. that's it. It's only we, three it, things we can do. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> that's and, it. And most times, if you had to guess, what order do those things happen in? Are men most likely to talk that shit out, get over it, or stop fucking with each other? What you think is the most? Likely? I think I think I think the the first one is most times always get over it. I think that's and, I think that's what we do. I think yeah, that is get a male trait. We just be like, all right, what? all right, man, whatever, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will see you Sunday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the next one, the next one is a talk slash maybe fight or something, depending on what kind of dudes uh-huh. y'all are. Mm-hmm. And then after that, if it just continue, they just be like, I am, I ain't fucking with that man no more. Yeah, and I think, <laughs> and I think that um, you know how Jay Z said men shouldn't be jealous. That's a female trait. Um, what you mad because you push that? He sell weight. You know, I mean, but yeah. Whatever the line is, I'm not talking about specifically the jealousy aspect. I'm just talking mm-hmm. about that as a line that we use, men use all the time. That yes. that that's a female trait, and I think that in. And that's not to be disrespectful towards every woman because every woman doesn't no. necessarily uh, handle their business that way. But yeah. you know, Molly and um, Issa have like a very, in 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 a sense, stereotypical relationship in that in that they're yeah. kind of it's it's a little stereotype of of how it's, women it's, relationships. I think, I think are. it's it's slightly catty at times. You exactly. know what I mean? Sometimes it's catty and petty, and you be like, "Why you had to say that?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when Issa, uh, when she was looking down there, uh, when they was at um, Tiffany's house. Uh, you know, or whatever for the baby or whatever, and she saw Lauren and Issa down there talking. She didn't know what they was talking about, and she's talking about she going to I'm the old model, but look at her doing old Issa stuff too. Like, mm-hmm. what, what what's the purpose of that? You know what I mean? What, what's the purpose of that? You like know, Issa, it's, 
when Issa went to, to pull a friend to the side and she talked to Big Girl, she said, uh, you know, I, like I'm the messiest bitch in the world. And when Molly mm-hmm. pulled um, the Tiffany chick to the side, she was like, like I don't want to be happy. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, they already kind of got that narrative in their head. Not to say we wouldn't do stuff like that. Like, True. if me and you and, um, let's say, Raj Move got something going on, like, yeah, I might go holler at Jay Harry about it. Or you might go yeah. holler at... Um, chunky about something like yeah it's like oh i might talk to Raj about it there's different things yeah. like that's not uncommon but Mm-mm. i just think it's uncommon the level that they allow it to get to um yes i, I think so too uh my uh my well going back to uh me and from uh, venus that moment um mine is i like how men look at their, their little girls like men look at babies is we look in the future we're not looking at them right now like when he was like it's gonna be some little dude try to finger bang my daughter you know what I'm saying? I, we we look at I know I looked at my daughter the same way. Like somebody gonna try to knock my little girl off, and I'm gonna have to kill him. You know what I mean? That's how you look at your child. You looking? I think it's from a protection mode. But women look at him like, oh look at she's so pretty, she's so cute. You're gonna dress oh, up. Oh, you, you just saying that? Okay, so men do fucked up shit, and every woman is a daughter. Is exactly <laughs> the dude's quote. Every woman is a daughter, which is just funny. Yeah. But uh, would you have felt the same way if you had a little boy? I would, I would be like, oh, that boy gonna be out here getting on. He gonna he gonna have them hoes, boy. Watch that. I'm gonna show you why he gonna have them. Pain. So, I, mean, so I, I don't I don't know if that's a woman off from Venus moment, but I get what you're saying though. I definitely feel like it's. No, different. I'm just saying men look at the kids. The baby's no, just, different than. I, so. Let me take it back. You don't think that women would look at um their little girl the same way? Like some little nasty boy gonna try to um smash my little girl? No, nah, they 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 too. Especially when they young like they're still baby babies. They don't look at them like that till they get older. Okay. Okay. And little, and little men, and men, little men, and men don't be like, oh, uh, looking at their, I mean, and women don't look at their little boys like, oh, uh, he, one day my little boy going to be nice looking, he going to be on them hoes? <laughs> until they get older. You don't, you don't know until they get older. Okay, they, so you're just saying it's, <laughs> it's the time period it takes for them to yeah, get Yeah, they wait about five or six, then they start thinking, oh, you going to do, you know, Be handsome. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got you. I mean, but going back to like the Molly Issa relationship, which I think is a big part, right, of the yeah. episode. I mean, they were like clearly... The one, some of the only characters that were on the episode, and um, so I wrote a couple of notes down, and I just want to get your opinion on. I think mm-hmm. that Molly is more worried about Issa than the other way around. Mm. I think she she more worried about like Issa be tripping more yeah. than Issa. Like I think Issa be kind of on some whole other stuff. Like she forgetful that shit. She irresponsible. She didn't have yeah. the water on for for yeah. the for the complex. Like she do yeah, a lot of stuff. That's absolutely irresponsible. Yeah, right she do a lot of stuff that's just not on. Like like she not thinking about it. So I yeah, think I just, that yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that like Molly just kind of be more like like worried about. Like getting Issa back at her or talking, yeah, yeah, like I, yeah. like I think she always think Issa coming for, like it's it's mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Like I think that Issa yeah. responds. Molly is the one with the bad energy. That's I how definitely I feel. agree. You're not wrong. We right about that. I just think it's funny. Um, oh, I think with Issa, we always say Issa can't do too many things at one time. Mm-hmm. Like when Issa trying to like she trying to do the block party, she ain't gonna she, something mm-hmm. gonna fall off with her. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen TSA Bay in a minute. And she can't remember to get the water on for the whole complex. Like, you know, she she got too much going on at once. And, think, yeah. you know, she don't she don't have Condola. Condola ain't been around. Condola ain't been answering no phone calls. I ain't been helping her kind of you know, how that that checklist we had. Well, uh, they, they had a couple episodes ago that that checklist, you know, Issa needs that that type of structure, I feel, to be able to, you know, to be able to to, to balance everything and keep everything under control. So the Condola relationship, I'm gonna bring that up in a little bit, absolutely. But I know what I think ju- about it. Just even more so, um, a couple of a couple of other little things besides that Molly's more um worried about it. Um, some things that is absolutely right that Molly was dead ass wrong about that parking spot. Whoever's backing into oh, the spot gets the God, privilege. God. That's you. She's going into the spot. I don't understand like, how you don't get that. Like that. That shows the level of like I would have been pissed if I was Issa for a whole bunch of reasons, but. When I'm backing into the spot, I'm once I didn't pass that spot, if I'm already, like, you have to, as the other driver, like, you're not about to parallel park coming in forward. So, you no, can't no. get the spot. Like, that shit is, yeah. that was like, like, I would have been really salty with her over that. Like, bro, like, I would have, I'd have put my car, put the hazard lights on and just sat there and been like, all right, we both just about to sit here then, bro. Nah, I just would have turned in there. I would just backed on in there. Like, I, when she stopped, I just kept going. 
mm. and backed on in that thing. The first time she stopped, I'd have came off the brake and just slow roll right on in that thing. Mm. I'm like, girl, you see me? I'm parking. Like it ain't like I'm. I saw the spot. We saw the spot at the same time. I saw the spot and positioned my car to park in the You're spot. Right. It ain't like so we both <laughs> driving driving into like Walmart and it's like a drive in that and we both come yeah. in two different directions. No. no. Y'all are, you are following me. You are behind yeah. me. <laughs> like that I'm, is- I'm doing I'm doing what you about to try to do. You know what I mean? Like even when uh Issa left, she had to do exactly what Issa was doing to get the spot. I'm like, come on now, man. Yeah, that part. When you saw her come actually on. have to pass the spot up, yeah, that was that was that yeah. nonsense. Yeah, uh, other, that um yeah. additionally, um my um, Issa was tripping. Right, this ain't my Issa we tripping moment, but you can't call for a favor and not pretend to listen first. So, yes. like when Issa called in, she was like, "Hey, I need um, Andrew to talk to the people at the record label." She didn't like even pretend to listen to what Molly wanted to talk about first. Like, yeah, I'm about to say, cause Molly that, said, "I want to talk." She said, yeah. "Me too." That go back and to she, the Issa yeah. forgetful shit, like our Issa mm-hmm. self absorbed or whatever you want to say, but she wasn't One track mine. Yeah. She mm-hmm. like that. Let that was like, come on, man. You gotta at least pretend. Like if you're calling anybody for a favor, what up, bro? Well, yeah. what you been up to, man? Hopefully everything, hey, everything good, good with that COVID. You, you know what I'm saying? How your mom and them doing, man? <laughs> you been social distancing? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I ain't got no haircut either, boy. I know y'all been cooking over there. What y'all cooking, man? No, you, you uh, gotta play good. the game. Gotta play. Yeah, the man. Game. Uh, I was calling no, uh, you know, not for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and you know what? You. Do you know how much I respect when people call me and do that little gamesmanship? And I know yeah. they want something, but I respect mm-hmm. the gamesmanship. I respect give me five, give me five, six minutes before you just jump down. And, you know what I mean? Give me a high five. Give me, give me a good three minutes, two, three minutes, though. <laughs> two, three minutes. For you just be like, oh yeah, hey boy, what you doing? Nothing. Oh, I call. Me. I need you to. <laughs> yeah, Dang. that that you ain't that's gonna finesse me first. Um, another thing I put is that she's and Molly's wrong. Not wrong, mm-hmm. but just kind of the fact that she chose not to do the favor to keep her relationship yeah. tight. That kind of mm-hmm. shit is like I'm, I don't know how big of an ask that is. I don't know what else, whatever. Well, but go well, ahead. Well, I, I I wrote I wrote a note down about that. I kind of understand Molly's point because you know, I guess that she's trying to find you know the distance between work and her relationship right now because work has been getting in the way of her relationship. So maybe from her point, she feel like uh, if I ask him now. About something for Issa, you know, I'm bringing work back into it, and obviously, it but what Issa like, got to do with work though? I'm, 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 but I'm saying, I mean, it's, it's for his work though. So I, 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 was, I guess they're trying. She's trying to distance work and their relationship on her love life right now. You know, trying to have something between the two. Because remember, she's about to get it in. She had got off that thing to go finish work, doing some work. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, so maybe I'm, I'm, that, coming, I'm coming. Maybe back that's what that as well. But yeah, yeah, I just think that I just think that when you when you okay, go with the lie there. Tell Issa I asked him and he said, oh, he going he gonna to think about it. That's what I would have done. Like, there's no reason <laughs> to be all like, listen, I'm about to prioritize my man over you. Like, yeah. that whole thing was a whole Molly kind of standing over there because, you know, like me and Andrew, like me and mm-hmm. Andrew, like the whole yeah. humble brag daddy that she was doing. Mm-hmm. Like, it was a whole, it was a whole flex. Like, well, Issa, me, me and my man, you know? Yeah. But she ain't been with the brother that in a while either, though. So mm-hmm. maybe that's something, you know, it's all kind of new for her. Uh, and, you know, she's kind of getting used and trying to grow into that now. You know what I mean? Because like she told him, she said, I ain't really talking about it long enough to even have to consider that type of stuff. So <laughs> all that stuff new, she ain't, you know, she ain't got the little butterfly still in her stomach and all You're that. right. That's what You're right. Doing. All that's right. All so, so speaking of that same thing, uh, before you say anything, Andrew was my person of the week. Ooh, look, Andrew the week. I got Andrew this week. I just felt his energy, man. Like, um, Mm -hmm. I felt like, I felt like Molly was back burner in him. And when she told him, um, something like she texted him, it was like, nah, I can't come tonight. I'm a, I got something else to do for work. And then she Mm -hmm. said something in the office about, yeah, we got that kind of relationship, my man, whatever, whatever. Then the off, like the, her getting up off him to go do work or whatever. My first thought was that man probably out here doing his thing. Mm Mm-hmm. Did you not think that? Yeah, when he uh, when he when he wasn't tripping, or he was like, hey, "I'm finna go." When he wasn't tripping, the, when he when wasn't, he wasn't tripping. tripping at all. But maybe, you know, but then sometimes maybe he just gave the benefit of that a couple of times. Then he said something to her. One mm-hmm. thing I like about Andrew is that he ain't gonna just sit there and let it let it fester and brew. Yeah, he gonna say something. He gonna be like, "Look, hey, this ain't gonna work for me, man. I don't care who you are." You know what I, I mean? Just, okay. I just don't think women <laughs> understand a hundred a lot of the time. 
that men like all the attention. Yeah, and maybe they well, maybe they know that. Maybe they know that. Maybe they know that. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, me personally, I don't need all the attention. You need all you know the mean? attention, Los. Let um, me let me let me get let me give you another qualifier. Too. What you say when you men mean need that, like, all the attention when they want the attention? Thank you. Okay, that's like about, when that's I about. want when I want your attention, I need all your attention. I don't yeah, need you to be right. back burnering me. Like if yeah. if today I'm saying, hey, look, we about to. I want to take you to dinner today. Mm-hmm. And then you like, well, I got this to do, that to do. I can maybe fit you in. That's never good. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know men do it, but it's just... yeah, it sound bad. <laughs> fit you in, sound bad. <laughs> I can squeeze you in there at, at right at one thirty. <laughs> okay, but and not, I thought it was crazy. Two. He was like, "Nah, you mean you you've been doing your thing? I thought you was gonna go. Um, I, I said I'm going to play poker with them boys. You know what I mean? Yeah, man." Thought you had work. Shit. What do you think the mood for that dinner was like for the rest of the dinner? Oh, it was quiet. <laughs> all you, you know what? All you heard was tink, tink, tink. <laughs> Folk hitting the plate, drinking, and chewing. That man didn't even, <laughs> he didn't even say, look, I'm going to play poker and that shit. I come swing by afterwards. That boy said, I'm going to play poker. Yeah. And yeah. That I was looking said, like, hmm. I like how she said, but it's, he said, but it's date night. He said, I know <laughs> <laughs> it is, but I mean, I thought you had some work after this. You know, you've been working, so so it's hard I made for sure me to I'm gonna be in there sleep by myself. It's hard for me to discuss. Um, it's hard for me to discuss or even kind of figure out their relationship when the time they gave us the last two episodes had like some time stamps, right? It was like mm-hmm. Halloween, then it was like Thanksgiving. So I don't yeah. know. This wasn't like the Christmas episode, so I don't know what. Season where this right was now. where it is. It's yeah. LA, like they said. It's always, it's always gonna be about the same weather. So it's kind of yeah. hard for me to tell how long they've been together. Like if they, like when he was still hollering at other people, and they had that that instance a couple of episodes ago, that was I would have one hundred percent. Yeah, I would have one hundred percent been like, oh well, he going he going knock something else off. Like yeah. that man, not like he just being like, okay, you busy, I'll figure yeah. it out. Um, but shit, I don't even know what's going on with this. But I don't put it past it that Andrew got nah, something else I don't put going it past on. Nobody. But I think it, it, I'm, I'm thinking it's about six. They about six to seven months in somewhere okay. around there. Okay, maybe. So they six they to seven, I'm they thinking. just starting to be real boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, he, like he told her when he told her the honeymoon phase over with. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what made me think. Okay, they 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 must be at the six month six month mark or around there. Because when he said that, I was like, oh, okay, it's bad. Yeah, that that yeah. make a lot of sense, man. My last little note on Andrew was that I was informed uh, by a listener. That it wasn't a Louis Vuitton jacket, that big LV he had on. It was actually a Valentino jacket, and it cost eighteen fifty. So, yeah. oh, good God! Yeah. Okay, shout out for his swag. But he worked at Rock Nation, though. So, fair enough. You know, they get money over there. Oh, one uh-huh. thing about the dinner, I was I wrote down uh, when she said when Milo was like, "It's fine." When, some, when a woman said, "It's fine," it's never fine. It's not. Never. It's not fine. Never fine. It's not fine. It's, it's not fine. a good thing. It's not fine. Sorry. Ever. <laughs> Who was your person of the week, man? I got two of them, uh, Kelly and Tiffany, man. They're my oh, people like, of the week. You like the week. friend circle, okay? Yeah, I like I like how they stayed out. They they didn't jump in between that mess, mm. or you know, kind of kind of take the bait of the whole girl. Yeah, she, you know, what I'm saying they stayed out of. They said, well, maybe it's a misunderstanding, or maybe this, this, maybe it's that. They didn't jump in it. You know, what I mean, I like they could have made it so much worse if they would have got in there and been, you know, girl, you saw him. It would have made it a whole lot worse, especially with they already at each other's throat. Tiffany don't worry. Tiffany ain't worried about um, nobody but herself. So Tiffany, I about to say Tiffany don't give a damn, but she still, <laughs> she still, she still would be messy though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Her, you know what I'm saying? She still would be messy. So I, I'm they my two for not even you know fueling the fire, so to speak, with that. I like that. That's a good solid pick right there. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm always picking the man and you always picking the women. Ah, we just switch roles. <laughs> we just switch roles in a we couple didn't weeks. Switch. We didn't switch roles. <laughs> Yeah, hey man, <laughs> hey boy, that, that that boy Nathan popped back up. You heard me? Oh, I didn't. Is that who called him? Yeah, that was Nathan. Oh, I didn't even peep it. He was like, "Don't you ain't got to call me back, whatever." I didn't yeah. even put that together that with his patchy Nathan. beard. Yeah, Nathan popped up. What's happening? Then? He need to stay where he at, man. Let's just be. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to find TSA, babe, man. You no, she said she wasn't gonna. Mess, she said she wasn't gonna mess with him no more after um after he busting or whatever after the condom incident. Oh yeah, he she said I'm not. I'm not playing with him. I'm not playing with him no more. 
Um, Dang, TSA, bro. He got a call or something for me. And one of you, one of your little people of the week, man, Tiffany was already over there on that wine. She couldn't wait to pump that breast milk. Oh, so she could. look here, look here. <laughs> Tiffany gonna drink now. She ain't gonna do nothing else. She gonna pour a baby or no baby. She ain't tripping <laughs> at all. I, well, let me know. Let me know how you think Issa was tripping this week. What was your Issa be tripping moment? Issa little mirror talks what she be having with herself. <laughs> Her little <laughs> things is hilarious. Well, okay. She be tripping in those things. I mean, I'm not like we all haven't been in the mirror and had a little talk, but hers, I think hers is on 10 and <laughs> with all the extra stuff like that. And, um, her little her little stuff with uh, she got to watch out when she around Lawrence to my condola because she was trying when she asked him mm-hmm. I mean how the condola about the thing mm-hmm. she didn't say nothing back she got to stop that like don't don't put that man in that or anywhere near those things that, that's not that's not gonna be a good look that's gonna end up bad for you every single time you know what I'm well, saying well, Issa was tripping with that well the Lawrence condola thing is definitely my Issa um, be tripping moment like we on a, we on a, on the same page with that. Um, I, I sat down and I froze the the TV when it was. It's like she got a um a, a text talking about Kel Mitchell, and she got something about flyer proofs. Um, mm-hmm. and and the note that I wrote was when the texts go from random to business to stalker memes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Maybe that's a woman enough for Venus moment, but I think it's more of a Issa be tripping moment. And I'm gonna put it yeah. in there. Um, this part, the texting. I just called you after after you called somebody. Like all of oh, that yeah. is like that's you tripping at that point. Like you you stalker. I, I, I hate that. I what? Hate I, that. I just called you. Well, my my G, my, my phone will let me know you just called me. Come on, number one. Number two. Num- if I didn't answer way, the call, I'm not about to answer the reason. text because what that's gonna make me look like if I don't answer the call. I'm screening answer. my calls. Yeah. Like if anything, you call me, I don't answer. I text you and say, "Hey, look, it's loud where I'm at." Oh. I'm yeah. busy or something. Yeah. But you don't text me right after you called me, whatever. But I thought it was funny. It was like a little evolution. It was like, we. it was a random text, meaning like, oh, I'm just texting you some funny stuff I saw because we friends. Mm-hmm. Then after she didn't respond for a day, she hit her with like some old back to business stuff, like proofread these mm-hmm. flyers. Then she finally hit her with the stalker meme, like the little eyes, like where you at? And yeah. then Condola finally responded like, hey, I'm busy, whatever. And then she put a, and then it was one ring to where she went to voicemail. So yeah. it was a lot of little, like I think Issa handling this in a, in a tripping tripping way because mm-hmm. she should get the writing on the wall to stop the friendly bobbing and go yeah, and talk directly out. about business at this point. Yeah. Because you got an event, you got a plan. And just because like, listen, I can tell you this from experience. If you're trying to set up an event. And one of your friends who's helping you to set up the the event ain't doing what they need to do. Hey, you still got to do it. Like I was and about you, to say, you really don't got time to focus on that. <laughs> you can't be playing with them. You can't play yeah. with them. Um, Talk about that after the event, right? The last little <laughs> you know note I put there. Of, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was, I was gonna say that I think about the, the whole uh, the whole uh, thing is especially when uh, I found out, you know, whatever they did, her uh, the mic, the headliner dropped out. Yeah. I was like, I wonder what was Lawrence's answer when Condola asked him, would they still be together if she didn't cheat? Oh, this is, we, we on the same thing. My The only other note I wrote was that Lawrence and that chick probably broke up already. Lawrence and mm-hmm. Condola probably not, if they ain't broke up, they probably they taking terms. some, they are taking some time apart. Like, mm-hmm. that's what he, and I think it's like when he said, hey, I got to tell you something, that'd be like the time when it's like, hey, me and you talking, look, I've been broke up with this, the little chick, I'm talking to my ex. I've been yeah. broke up with my new little chick for a while. I'm not about to call my ex the day after I broke up with old girl to be like, yeah, we broke up. But she, you know, you're going you gonna to let her know at a point. Like, it's going to come or, up. Or, or he's going to be like, hey, man, this this little thing with you and her and me is getting kind of funky. You, know you think what that's mean? what it I is? I think, I think, it's I a, I think it's they broke the, up. I, I, I'm saying it's either the two, though. It's either mm-hmm. one. It could be that, too. But it's either one. Like, hey, man, we got to chill with that, you know. Y'all have him talking about me and stuff. That, that, ain't, I don't, that ain't been no good look. See, I don't get that vibe because it felt like he was being extra friendly to um, Issa in a way that he hadn't been friendly with her before. Well, it's, it's only been a few times that he ran into each other and they were awkward times too. Yeah, but even on the so. phone, like when, it, yeah, I, I get your point though. But when he called yeah. and she was like, oh, I'm about to go in this concert. He's like, bye. Like it was kind of short, like you ain't got nothing yeah, to talk yeah. about. He was Whatever. Like, the phone. Yeah. When he saw her in the store, it was, I mean, in the other restaurant, I mean, it was a cool little talk and it was like, oh, they're getting better. And then they laughing about stuff in each other inbox. Mm-hmm. I think they're progressing to a point where they're trying, they're, 
not necessarily trying to get back together. We talked about how dangerous that is, but that they yes. being friends, that they yeah, they cordial, can pop, cordial, they're yeah. trying to be friends, uh-huh. and because they gonna see each other a lot. Yeah, so I think that I think that that's kind of I don't think he calling it. I mean, pulling it aside to say, hey, hey, y'all need to chill out. Did you hear Kelly say, "Look at Lawrence, they're looking like a provider." Uh huh. Uh huh. All that, all that, clowning him, clowning him. <laughs> that lady, that's so damn crazy, man. No, she, she, she. Uh, what you think about Issa reaching out to people IG messages? I thought she was grinding, man. Yeah, I was. I was. Listen, if she wanted to do the other fuck shit, I was gonna give her. I was gonna pick up for my person because I like. I like how she. She didn't just uh-huh. go into a funk after that happened. You know what I'm saying? She just kept she kept working, trying to find all kind of way, trying to she was about to hit Beyonce. I like that. Like I'm proud of Issa for that, even though the wall still don't work. But you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you think any of that work? You think if we if, if we just was in people's inbox trying to get people to perform and stuff, you think any of that work? I I, I don't know. I, I don't it's know. 2020. Could, I mean, you could. It, I mean, it's probably how people get people nowadays, though. I mean, just it probably ain't the way that it worked, but I mean, I'm I'm sure it can. I mean, if you if I send a fly, I'm like, hey, I'm having this on this day. Are you available? What's the price? If they you available know, on that day, they probably you, gonna say how they have my booking agent or something. But yeah, well, you, that's who you holler at then. Yeah, <laughs> then, right. You know, that's what she got a budget. See. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, then you see, you know, if you can afford them or not. I mean, I so then by going. that by that token, most of them people probably got not everybody, but a lot of them probably got the little thing that say for bookings, contact this. Oh, hey, listen, listen, listen. Over sixty five percent of the <laughs> IG names. Have booking information, yeah, right. <laughs> you know so even if they don't have nothing going, they just put it there. No, I got you. So yeah, she could probably she probably could find somebody. I ain't, I ain't worried about all of that, but I just think that she was over there grinding, and I really like that. Yeah, I like that um, part. I think I also think Condola got something to do with that headliner pulling out. Oh, of course. I think that that's an underlying little theme there. That she 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 not by myself. No, no. I think that the whole concert. Coming together is like her and Condola moving apart. I think that it's gonna be yeah. some problems there. Oh yeah, it's that's be all I got. Shit. I mean, I don't have I don't have a whole picture of it, but that's really all I got in regards to yeah. that. My real question for you though, as like one of my best friends, is how you miserable and you get the summer off, bitch. That hey, I saw that boy. The thing about me, I ain't miserable. I'm the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> that's why I was like, what kind of teacher she had? What kind of dude he must? Have? I don't know what he talked. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what I'm he taught. I don't know what he taught. I'm the happiest guy in the world, man. That's I ain't funny. listen. You don't come home at six. I'm good. I might mess around, and be sleep. We had football practice, basketball practice. I might go. <laughs> I, might, sleep, I might go hoop. <laughs> I might be hooping. You know what I mean? I might hey, not be man. myself. Listen, I don't have too much else except to say what I'm looking forward to next week and what I, I mean. From all instances, I mean, I guess I looked at a little bit of the proof. I'm ready for the block party, man. Yeah, that's me. That's what I'm waiting. That's all I want to hear. I want to see the black party and how it go. I, just and I, see I, I, want, I want it to go good so I can pick Issa. That's what you want? I want to pick Issa next week. Well, let's put our hard. hands together. Put our hands together and say, look, we we, we, we hoping for Issa to win. We hoping. Issa, I need you to step up and come through. Use your she powers and that, and that woman in the mirror. Use both of them. All I right. need you to rap a fire little verse. Uh, on, on on the mic, on the stage. <laughs> Something. And I need you to remember everything. I need you to kind of get a checklist, get you some help. And and I want it to go right. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm ready for Insecure uh, for the next episode, man. Yeah, it's been going uh, for episode five. So, yeah, this... The season's been it's been moving along, and I think it's cool because if we get the block party at like episode whatever five of the season, that'll be dope. That means we got a whole nother like it's not like we building towards it to the whole damn. Um, that's that's season. what I don't want them to do. I want them to get it over with. I want to see the aftermath. What there happens you next. go. That part. Yeah. That part. That part. So we'll see how that goes, man. But look, that's about all I got, man. So um, look, we appreciate y'all coming, listen once again to the Men wow. Secure Podcast. Secure Podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Best Friend Weekend. All the cool things we do. Best Friend Weekend yes, Live at Five. Educated Ignorance. Best Friend Weekend Podcast. All of those cool things. Blackbuster Video coming back real soon. Um, yeah. and all that good stuff. But until next time, you have a great weekend. Make it a best friend bow, weekend. Bow. Bow. And we out. Bow. <laughs>